Glastonbury, one of the largest music festivals in the world, is back. It's a utopia for music lovers. The festival site is sprawled across 1,100 acres of land in Somerset, England. That's around 830 football fields. The 2023 headliners include Elton John, Guns N' Roses, and Arctic Monkeys, with more than 200,000 people camping in the fields for five days. But the festival's beginnings were humble. Originally called the Pilton Pop Blues and Folk Festival, Glastonbury was born as a way for founder Michael Evis to make money to upkeep the farm he inherited. It debuted in September 1970, a day after Jimi Hendrix died. Admission was just one British pound for each of the 1,500 attendees, and included free milk straight from Worthy Farm. A year later, attendance jumped to 12,000 people. The iconic pyramid stage, inspired by the largest Egyptian pyramid, was introduced and a young David Bowie performed. The festival officially became a yearly event in the 80s, held around the summer solstice. Glastonbury also has a strong history of activism. In the 80s, the festival welcomed anti-nuclear protesters and donated proceeds to the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament. Organizers took steps in the 2000s to make Glastonbury more environmentally friendly, and in the years since, attendees and vendors have drastically cut back on waste and given money to fight climate change. Musicians over the years have spoken against Brexit, anti-abortion laws in the US, and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The 2022 festival even opened with a virtual appearance from Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. 